Hey guys and welcome. Well, as you can see, we're in Photoshop and the reason why I'm doing this extra little video here is I want to point out a couple of uh, plugins for uh, Photoshop and not only uh, Photoshop, but also other Adobe products like Adobe Illustrator, where you can use these uh, add-ons. Now, um, the reason why I use them is because uh, when I do concept work or let's say storyboards or whatever, I want to have a lot more control on Photoshop. That's why I use Photoshop 4. Uh, but also if I do manual texturing for my 3D models. Now I do uh, tend to do a lot of a uh, PBR texturing, but on occasion if I want to do something cartoony or if I want to, uh, you know, add some detail myself, I will definitely do that in Photoshop. So I got three uh, plugins loaded up here. I got uh, Mixed Colors, Magic Picker and uh, Magic Squire. These three are created by a couple of guys that are artists themselves and they um, uh, came up with a company called Anastasia. Now I'll give you a quick look. So this is their website and to my surprise what I saw up here at top is that these uh, plugins are used at Marvel, uh, Epic Games, DreamWorks and Disney to name a few, right? Well, that's not nothing to be here for sure. So um, they got four main plugins here. I'm using the first three and uh, it's, a, it's simply a matter of going on here, downloading them and adding them on. They got a little install manager in case you don't know how to um, do that and it will basically do it for you. So it's kind of neat. And uh, that said, I'll give you a quick look at what it does. Okay, so like I said, I got these three open and uh, once they're installed, you'll find them up here. You go to window extensions and then I got all of these three uh, clicked. So uh, what does mix colors do? Well, exactly what you think it does. You can go in here and be very exact in what kind of color mix you want to create. Okay, and you can use these sliders here and that will give you a lot of control. Now that can be useful if you are, for example, uh, recreating a texture for an existing product where the, uh, the color has to be extremely exact or just because you're really picky when you choose your colors, okay? So what about Magic Picker? That looks a lot like these, the one already in Photoshop. Well, yes, true, uh, but when you use the one on the right here, what you need to do every time you change a color is go in there, click on it, confirm it, and you know, a lot of steps. Uh, with the magic picker, you click a color, you pull a line, and basically it's one click, and you can go, right? Really fast. So if you are doing a lot of work in Photoshop, uh, that will help you to save a lot of time, okay? And then finally, we've got Magic Squire. Now, like I said, I don't use the this fonts one uh, because that's literally about fonts. The Magic Squire here allows you to create categories for your brushes. So if you have a lot of brushes going on, you have all sorts of categories you can create. Um, nature brushes, stamp brushes, you know, uh, you can uh, categorize that, name that and whatnot. So it's pretty cool. So what I'll do is I'll put a link uh, below to um, the uh, link where you can get the uh, software and uh, let me know in the comments if you find it useful, okay? I'd uh, love to hear from you guys. Well, that's it, guys. Like I said, a little extra video, but hopefully it's useful, right? See you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.